so good morning everyone today uh, we are going to discuss exercise 4 of this uh, circle so let's see the first question it is saying that the length of chord cut off by uh, y equal to 2x plus 1 from the circle x square plus y square is equal to 2 let me see whether i have started the recording or not yeah it is going on so yeah let me draw the uh, sketch for this so it is saying one circle is there having center as origin right so this is our circle uh, having origin as the center and uh, one uh, straight line is there equation of a straight line is given so uh, this is our straight line and uh, it is saying what will be the length of chord cut off by this straight line on the circle okay so uh, let me uh, do one construction here uh, i am joining this center to this point and I'm dropping one perpendicular on this line from the center. Okay. So now we are done with the sketching portion. So uh, let me name it. So the this uh, line is 2x minus y uh, plus 1 is equals to 0, right? This is our center of the circle having coordinates as 0, 0. Uh, and this is the intercept length of intercept this uh, this is what is asked the length of ab is asked in the question right so uh, from the center what i have done i have dropped one per perpendicular on this uh, straight line let me call it as d so if you see in the triangle adc uh, we have ad square plus cd square is equal to ac square okay and what is the equation of this uh, circle if you see this is nothing but x square plus y square is equals to 2. So our ad square will become this ac square minus cd square right. Now what is ac? ac is the radius of the circle. ac is the radius of the circle. Uh, so ac square is known to us. We need to find this cd. So what will be cd? CD is the perpendicular distance from center on this line. So it will be uh, 0 plus 0 means 2 into 0 minus 1 into 0 plus 1 upon under root of A square plus B square that is 2 A square 2 A square plus 1. This will be 1 upon uh, root 5. So CD square will be uh, 1 upon 5. So this AC square is nothing but uh, uh, R square which is 2 minus cd square is 1 upon 5 sorry so this will become uh, 10 minus 1 9 upon 5 okay so ad square we got as 9 by 5 so what will be ad ad will be equal to 3 upon a root 5 and uh, what will be ab ab is nothing but 2 times ad right because uh, this uh, uh, cd will bisect this chord ab so this will be 2 times AD, that will be nothing but 6 upon root 5, right? So option is C is correct for this one. So now see this question number 2. It is saying that the circle x square plus y square minus 4x minus 8y minus 5 equal to 0 will intersect the line in two distinct points if, okay. So you know that if a straight line, like suppose this is uh, any circle and one straight line is there, which is uh, intersecting the circle at two distinct points, it means that the perpendicular distance from the center of this circle on this line should be less than radius of the circle, right? So uh, this is what uh, we need to do here. So uh, this is the equation of circle x square plus y square minus 4x 
minus 8y minus 5 is equals to 0. So what is the center of this circle? The center of this circle is 2 comma 4. And uh, what is the radius? It is 2 is squared plus 4 is squared minus of c. That is minus of minus 5 or plus 5. That is 4 plus 16 plus 5. Under root 25, that is nothing but 5. So we got the center of this circle as 2 comma 4. And we got the radius as 5. And this is our line. Uh, given line whose equation is 3x minus 4y plus lambda is equals to 0. Okay. So what I will do, I will drop one perpendicular from C. <coughs> I will drop one perpendicular from C on this line. Okay. And I will name it as uh, D and uh, let the intersection point be A and B, okay? So, uh, for uh, this straight line, to have uh, two intersection points on this circle, we need CD must be less than the radius of the circle, which is uh, nothing but 5. So, this CD must be less than 5. And what will be CD? The perpendicular distance uh, from center on this line will be 3 into 2, that is 6, uh, minus 4 into minus 4 minus 16 uh, minus lambda minus lambda sorry mod upon under root of a square plus b square that is 3 square plus 4 square this must be less than 5. So uh, this will be the equation the equation of uh, line is given as 3x minus 4y uh, minus of lambda right this will be minus of lambda. So 3x minus 4y minus lambda equal to 0. So this will be the perpendicular distance on this straight line from the center and that must be less than 5, right? Now uh, calculate it. This will be uh, minus 10 minus lambda come mod should be less than this 5 into 5, 25. Okay. So if uh, you know, if mod x is less than a, so x must lie between a and minus f, right? So we can, uh, from here we can write this minus 10 minus lambda must be between uh, minus 25 to 25, okay? So let's add uh, plus 10. So it will be uh, minus 15, sorry. This will be minus 25 plus 10 that will be minus 15 uh, minus lambda now uh, multiply by uh, minus 1 so the uh, sign of inequality will change so this is 15 is greater than lambda greater than minus of 35 right so uh, lambda should lie between minus 35 to 15 lambda should lie between minus 35 to 15. Okay. So uh, this will be our answer. Yet option C is correct. Now see the next question, question number three. It is saying if the line 3x minus 4y plus lambda equal to zero, where lambda is positive, touches the circle at A and B. Okay. Then the value of lambda plus a plus b is equal to. Okay. So the given line touches the circle. It means the given line is a tangent to the circle. Okay. So let me draw it. <coughs> this is our circle. And one straight line is given 3x minus 4y. This is our straight line 3x minus 4y plus lambda equal to 0. Touches at A and B. Okay. So, so our circle is x square plus uh, y square minus 4x minus 8y minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. And uh, the equation of this line is 
3x minus 4y plus lambda is equal to 0. And this is a this is touching the circle. Suppose I am taking it as p, the coordinates of whose are given as a comma b. This is what is given. This line touches the circle at a comma b. Okay. And what is the center of this circle? The center of this circle will be 2 comma 4. And uh, what is the radius? Radius will be 2 is squared 4 plus 4 is squared 16 minus of minus 5 means plus 5. So radius is 5. So this is what we got from this circle. The center is 2 comma 4 and its radius is its uh, radius is 5. Okay. So uh, the distance, this uh, CP must be equals to R. Right. This CP must be equals to R. Now uh, calculate CP. CP will be 3 into 2. That is 6 minus 4 into 4 minus uh, 16 uh, plus lambda mod divided by under root of a square plus b square that is 3 square plus 4 square should be equal to 5. Okay. So from here we get minus 10 uh, plus lambda mod is equals to 5 into 5, 25. What we need to find? We need to find the value of lambda plus a plus b. Okay. So first calculate uh, lambda from here. So this will be minus 10 plus lambda is equals to 25 or minus 10 plus lambda is equal to minus 25. So from here we get lambda is equal to uh, minus 10. Uh, am I doing some mistake? No, 6 minus uh, 16 minus 10 plus lambda. Okay. So uh, lambda is coming out to be 25 plus 10, that is 35. And from here, we get lambda as uh, 25 minus 10. Uh, lambda is, uh, this will come here. Or let it uh, move it here. So lambda is equal to minus 25 plus 10, that is minus 15. Okay. So we got lambda as minus 15 or uh, 35. But here it is given that the lambda is positive. So this value is rejected. Okay. So we got the value as 35. Lambda is uh, 35. So what will be the uh, equation of the tangent now? It will be uh, 3x minus 4y plus 35 is equals to 0. So this is the equation of tangent because we got the value of lambda and we put uh, in the uh, equation of the straight line. So uh, now uh, we have to find this point of contact. That means we have to find this P. Okay. So we can do one thing. Uh, we can write the equation of normal, right? We can write the equation of normal. So uh, suppose this is our tangent. So what will be the equation of normal? Equation of normal will be means normal is always perpendicular to the tangent, right? So uh, normal will be perpendicular to this tangent and normal always passes through the center of the circle. So uh, first let me consider the equation of normal. It will be nothing but uh, 4x, this coordinate of uh, x and y will interchange and this sign will change. If it is uh, minus, then it will be positive. That means we have interchanged the uh, coefficient of x and y. So 4x plus 3y plus k, is equal to zero. This will be uh, the equation of normal, right? And uh, it must satisfy the uh, point uh, C two comma four, right? So put it uh, in this equation. We get four into two, that is eight, plus uh, three into four, twelve, plus k is equals to zero. From here we got k is equals to minus twenty. From here, we got k equal to minus uh, 20. So our equation of normal will become 4x plus 3y minus 20, right, is equal to 0. So we are having the equation of tangent here. Let me tell it as equation 1. 
we are having the equation of normal here so uh, this uh, the intersection point of these two this tangent and normal will give me the uh, coordinates of p right so uh, let's solve this equation 1 and equation 2 <coughs> so what can we do we can uh, multiply the first equation by 3 we get uh, 3 uh, 3 3 9x minus 12y uh, plus 105 is equals to 0 and multiply this equation 2 uh, by 4 we get uh, 16x plus 12y uh, minus 80 is equal to 0 now add these two equations what we get this will be cancelled out 16 plus 9 that is 25x uh, 25x and 25 right 25x plus uh, 25 equal to 0. So from here we get x is equal to minus 1. x equal to minus 1. Okay. So put it in equation 1. So any equation you your wish. So it will be a minus 3 uh, minus 4y plus 35 equal to 0. So it will become 32, 35 minus 3, 32 equal to 4y, or we got y as 8. So uh, this will be our uh, a and b. That is nothing but a, and this is nothing but b. So we were, we need to find this lambda plus a plus b, which is nothing but lambda is 35. What is A? A is minus 1. And what is B? B is 8. So 35 minus 1, 34 plus 8, that is 42. So this will be our required answer, 42. But uh, in option, we didn't get any option as 42. So... But this will be our answer, no? Because uh, we what we have done, we have uh, uh, calculated the intersection point of this normal and tangent. So this must be the p only, the coordinates of p only. So we got the coordinates of p as minus one and uh, eight. So this will be our a. This will be our b. And what was lambda? Lambda was thirty-five. Anyhow, we are getting answer as forty-two, but uh, nowhere it is mentioned here. Okay, leave it. Uh, let's see the question number uh, four. It is saying that the tangent which is parallel to the line x minus 3y minus 2 equal to 0 of the circle, this this has point points of contact. Okay. Uh, let's, let me draw a sketch. So one circle is there, right? One circle is there and uh, tangent which is parallel to the line. So one equi uh, line's equation is there x minus 3 by minus 2. Now uh, let me draw one tangent parallel to this given line. So uh, this is our tangent parallel to the given line. <clears throat> has points of contact. Okay, we will see now. <coughs> it is given that the uh, it, what is the equation of the circle? It is x square plus uh, x square plus y square uh, minus 4x plus 2y minus 5 equal to 0, right? minus 4x plus 2y minus 5 equal to 0. So what is the center? Center for this circle is 2 comma minus 1. And uh, what is the radius? Radius will be 4 plus 1 minus of minus 5 that is 5. So radius is root 10. Okay. So this is our center 2 comma minus 1. And the equation of uh, this line is given as x minus 3y uh, minus 2 equal to 0. Uh, let me remind you, this is not the equation of the tangent, what is given in the question. Uh, 
the equation of the tangent will be uh, something parallel to this line. So we can write uh, uh, equation of the tangent as x minus 3y plus k is equals to 0, right? Uh, so how to find this value of k? Okay, we can do one thing. We can drop a perpendicular from the center. We will drop a perpendicular from the center on this tangent. And we will equate this uh, as a radius. A radius is uh, we know of this circle, and which is root at 10. So let me name it as D. Okay, since we have taken this C, so uh, I'm taking this point of contact as a D. Okay, so our CD will be equal to 1 into 2, 2 minus 3, minus 3 into minus 1 will be plus 3 plus k upon, this will be in mod, upon under root of a square plus b square, that is 1 square uh, plus 3 square. This will be equal to the radius of the circle, which is equal to uh, root 10. So from here we get uh, mod of uh, 5 plus k is equal to uh, 1 plus uh, root 10 into root 10, that will be uh, 10 only. So here, from here we get, we will get two values of k basically. So uh, this 5 plus k is equals to 10. Okay, 5 plus k equal to 10. From here we get uh, k equal to 5. And uh, this uh, 5 plus k is equals to minus 10. From here we get k equal to uh, 5 plus k equal to minus 10. So k will be equal to minus 10 minus 5 that is minus 15. Okay. So see basically there will be uh, two lines. There will be two lines which will be parallel to this given line. Since we got the value of k as coming out to be 5 and uh, minus 15. So uh, see this will be the uh, scenario like one more tangent will be there more tangent will be there which will be something like this right which will be something like this which will be parallel to the given line so whose equation will be like from here we can say uh, let me take it as k is minus 15 so its equation will be 3 minus sorry x minus 3y uh, minus 15 equals to 0 and this uh, line will become x minus 3y uh, plus 5, right? Uh, plus 5 equal to 0. So these two tangents we got. Line indicated in the uh, white color. So uh, what we need to find? We have to find the points of contact. Right? So if suppose this is D, uh, this is E. So we need to uh, find the point of contacts. How can we uh, do it? Okay, same what we have done in the uh, last question. We will uh, find the value of the, uh, sorry, we will find the equation of the normal. Like we will uh, find the equation of this CD and we will take the intersection point. We will take the intersection point of normal to uh, these two tangents that will uh, give us the point of contact. Okay, so... Uh, we can proceed in that way. So uh, let me take the equation of norm, uh, sorry, uh, tangent, first equation. I'm taking this uh, first line, first tangent. Uh, X minus 3Y uh, plus 5 equal to 0. This is the tangent, equation of tangent. What will be the equation of normal for this? It will be 3X plus Y plus K, some K equal to 0. Right. This is the one case. And what is the another case? I'm taking the equation of tangent as x minus 3y uh, minus 15 equal to 0. Right. This is one case, the tangent one. And this is the, let me write it as t1. This is as t2. So now uh, we need to find this value of k 
and we have to solve both the equations, right? Then we will get the intersection point. This is our approach. So how can we find the value of K? It's easy. The normal will always pass through the center of the circle. The center of circle is two comma minus one. So let's put it in equation uh, of the normal. So we will get six uh, minus one plus K equal to zero. Let me uh, take it as K we have already considered. No? So let me take it as K one because uh, you may get confused because earlier also we have used the K. So from here we get K1 as uh, 6 minus 1, that is minus 5. So K1 will be minus 5. Okay. So uh, our equation of normal becomes, our equation of normal becomes uh, 3X plus Y uh, minus 5 equals to 0. So let me take it as equation one, this as equation two. Now solve both the uh, equations. So <clears throat> how can we do? We will multiply this equation two by three and we will add. So this will become X minus three Y plus five equals to zero. Multiply this equation two by uh, three. We will get nine uh, X, right? 3 into 3, 9x plus 3y uh, minus 15 is equals to 0. Now add it. So this will become 10x. 10x uh, plus 5 minus 15 means minus 10. Right? Is equal to 0. So from here we get x equal to 1. Okay. So if we got x as 1, what will be a y? The our y will be 1 minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0. So 5 plus 1, 6 equal to 3y. So we got y as 2. So uh, this is one point of interaction. Uh, sorry, intersection. 1 comma 2. So we were solving with this uh, line. No? So the coordinates of d will be uh, 1 comma 2. The coordinates of d will be 1 comma 2. Whether 1 comma 2 is there in the option? No, we didn't have 1 comma 2 as option. Okay, so uh, let's uh, solve these two equations. This uh, tangent to this x minus 3y uh, minus 15 equal to 0. And uh, uh, we know the equation of normal from here. This is 3x plus uh, y plus what was given minus 5. So uh this is minus basically 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. so uh, let's take it as equation 3 this is equation 4 now solve it so again multiply equation 4 right by 3 and add both the which uh, both the equations uh, we will get this uh, multiplied by 3 then 9x plus uh, 3y minus 15 is equals to 0. Now add uh, equation 3 and 4. So it will uh, get cancelled. 9x plus x will be 10x, right? Minus 15 minus 15 minus 30 is equal to 0. From here we get x as 3, right? So put it in uh, any of the equations. So x equal to 3, this 3 minus 3y uh, minus 15 is equals to 0. I'm putting, in, uh, putting it in equation 3. We get uh, minus 15 plus 3. That is nothing but uh, minus 12 is equal to 3y. So y is equal to minus 4. Okay. So the coordinates of E will be means coordinates of E will be x uh, 3 comma minus 4. So two points of contact as there uh, are there 1 comma 2 and this 3 comma minus 4. Okay. So we are having this uh, point in one of the options 3 comma minus 4. So this option D is correct. Okay. And now let's take next question, question number 5. It is saying if a circle 
whose center is minus one comma one touches the straight line. Okay, then the coordinates of the point of contact are. So it is given that one circle is there. So this is our circle, and center is given. Center is known to us for this circle. Touches the straight line. One straight line. One straight line is there. So if this line uh, touches the circle. It means it is the tangent to the circle, right? And uh, the this perpendicular distance of from this uh, tangent to the center will be equal to the radius of the circle. This is we know. So uh, we know the center of this circle as let me tell it as a C, and uh, coordinates are minus one and one, and the equation of line is. Uh, x plus two y minus twelve is equal to zero, right? Then the coordinates of the point of contact are okay. So let me take it as p, whose coordinates are a comma b. So we need to find this uh, coordinates of p, okay? So how can we do it? How can we do it? We can write the equation of the normal, right? We can write the equation of the normal and we can take the intersection point. So our tangent is x plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. So let me assume the equation of normal as uh, 2x minus y plus k equal to 0. Okay, now this uh, normal will uh, pass through the center whose coordinates are known center is minus uh, 1 comma 1 so let's put the coordinates on this uh, equation of normal so we get uh, minus 2 right minus 2 uh, minus 1 plus k equal to 0 so from here we get k uh, value of k as we got the value of k as 3 so our equation of normal will become 2x minus y plus 3 equal to 0. So this is our equation of uh, tangent which is given in the question. This is what we uh, got the equation of normal. Now solve both these equations we will get the point of intersection that is we will get the point P. Right. So let's solve a multiply this equation 2 by uh, 2 we will get 4x minus 2y plus 6 equal to 0 and uh, this equation is known to us this x plus 2y uh, minus 12 equal to 0 so this minus 2y plus 2y will be cancelled this will be uh, 5x uh, minus 6 equal to 0 so we got the value of x as 6 upon 5 so if we got uh, x put it uh, in any of the equation so let me put in equation one only so this will be 6 by 5 uh, 6 by 5 plus 2y minus 12 equal to 0 okay so what we get we will be having this uh, 5 6 minus 60 equal to minus 2y right so this will be uh, minus 54 by 5 is equals to minus 2y so minus minus got cancelled this to 27 so uh, we got y as 27 upon 5 so this will be the coordinates of point p 6 comma 5 and 27 by 5 but again we have no options here with these values but our approach is right no we have we know the uh, equation of tangent we derived the this equation of normal okay and we solved both the equations so this will be the point of intersection this will be the point of contact so the coordinates of P from our end, we what we got, we got it as 6 by 5 
comma 27 by 5. This will be the answer. I don't know. Uh, in this exercise, we got this second question, I think, whose answer is not matching with this. Anyhow, mm -hmm. let's see the next question, question number six. This is saying that the area of the triangle formed by tangent at the point A comma B to the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square and the coordinate x is. Okay. So, this is our circle whose center is the origin. So let me draw the coordinate axis also. So, this is our y axis, this is our x axis. Okay. And what it is saying? The area of the triangle formed by the tangent. Okay, one tangent we have to draw. So, suppose I am drawing one tangent here. Right? Okay, now first let me write it. This is our center of the circle. And uh, this is our point P. Whose coordinates are A comma P. So the area of the triangle formed by the tangent at point A comma B to the circle and the coordinate axis. Okay, okay. So let me write it as A. The intersection of uh, tangent with x axis as A and the intersection of this uh, tangent with y axis as B. Right. So we need to find the area of triangle area of triangle uh, a b c okay we need to find this area of triangle a b c how can we find uh, definitely it will be the right angle uh, triangle anyhow if we can uh, find the coordinates of this a and b then our uh, task is done so can we write the equation of tangent at p? Uh, we know the we know the uh, equation of circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. So what will be the equation of tangent at p? It will be x x one plus uh, y y one minus r square is equal to zero, right? Where x one and y one are the uh, point of contact of the tangent with the circle. So let me put it in the in this equation. We get a x plus uh, b y equal to r square or minus r square equal to zero. Any way, any way you can write it. Now uh, for uh, having the coordinates of a for a, we will put uh, y equal to zero. So putting the y equal to zero, we get uh, x as r square upon a. Right. This is the coordinate of uh, x coordinate of this a. This will be r square upon a and the y coordinate on the x axis will be uh, 0 only. And uh, what will be the coordinate of b? For uh, that, we need to put x equal to 0 in the equation. So from there, we get y equal to r square upon b. So the coordinate of b will be 0 comma r square upon b right now what will be the uh, area of the triangle abc area of triangle abc will be half into base that is r square upon a into r square upon b that is nothing but r raised to power 4 upon 2ab right now let me remind you uh, there may be four uh, triangles in this way. Like it, we have uh, seen it in the first quadrant. It may occur in the second quadrant also. It may occur in the third quadrant. It may occur in the fourth quadrant. So it's better to write it as uh, area as r to the raised to the power 4 upon 2 into mod of AB, right? Which is given in our option B. So this will be the Correct answer. So, area of triangle ABC is R 
raised to power 4 upon 2 times mod of AB. Okay. Now say there is question number 7. Equation of tangent to the circle which make equal intercepts. Now it is uh, clearly mentioning, right? It is clearly mentioning that the equal intercepts on the positive coordinate axis. Okay. <clears throat> so let me draw the sketch for this one. This is our circle. And the equation of the tangent. We need to find the equation of the tangent. Which makes equal intercept on the positive coordinate axis. Okay, what will be the center of this circle? Center of this circle will be minus 2, comma, minus 2, comma, 2. Okay, let me uh, first like do gather some information about this circle. So the equation of circle is x square plus y square plus 4x minus 4y plus 4 equal to 0. So the center of this circle is minus 2 comma 2, right? So this center will be uh, minus 2 comma 2. And uh, what will be radius for this? Uh, radius will be 4 plus 4 and minus 4. So this will be, radius will be 2. Okay, radius will be 2. Mm, right. Now what we need to find the equation of tangent to the circle which make equal intercept. Okay. So if I say I say this is our axis, like coordinate axis, this x and y axis, which make equal intercept on the positive side. So uh, equal intercept means like this doesn't look like equal intercept anyhow. Okay. So this is our uh, tangent to this circle, right? This is our tangent to this circle. At point, uh, suppose P here, this is the P. This is the P point, okay? And uh, this equal, uh, this line is making equal intercept on the positive coordinate axis. So definitely, uh, definitely the slope of this line, the slope of tangent, must be slope of tangent uh, must be minus one because this is this will be actually a 135 degree okay so uh, let me assume the equation of tangent as y equal to uh, mx plus c or uh, you, we can say y equal to m is nothing but minus one so uh, minus x plus c Okay, so we have assumed this line as y equal to uh, minus x plus c. Now, uh, how can we uh, find the value of c? We can do one thing. We can drop a perpendicular from this center on this line, right? That will be equal to the radius. From there, we can uh, find the value of what you say, c. Okay, so... It will be, what will be the uh, CP? Like the length of CP will be uh, C upon under root of uh, 1 square plus M square. M is uh, minus 1. So this, and this is equal to the radius. What is radius? Radius is equals to 2. So from here, we got uh, value of C as 2 root 2. So put this in the equation of the line. So our line will be y equal to minus x plus 2 root 2, right? 
so it will uh, we will get x plus y equal to 2 root 2 so this is our required equation of the tangent so option b is correct okay so we have uh, the question number 8 it is given if a is greater than 2b greater than 0 means a and b both are positive then the positive value of m for which uh, this line y equal to mx minus b under root 1 plus m square is a common tangent okay to both these circles so like equation of two circles are given to us and uh, question is asking to find the positive value of m for which this line will be a common tangent okay so let me draw both this uh, these two circles Mm, this is our one circle. For circle, the uh, coordinates of center is 0, 0 and the coordinates of center for second circle is A, 0. Okay. And uh, this line is a common tangent to both of the, both the circles. Right. So, if you see, uh, suppose I am taking this as center 1, like circle 1, and this as circle 2. So, what will be the coordinates of center for this? It is 0, 0. And the coordinates of center for the second circle, C2 is a comma a comma zero a comma zero right hmm. and uh, the equation of this line is given as uh, y equal to mx minus b under root one plus m square now it is tangent to uh, this uh, first circle also and this is tangent to this second circle also so let me draw this perpendicular distance, perpendicular from this to this. Okay. So uh, this will be equal to the radius. This, uh, let me uh, take it as this as A and this as B. So this C2B, the length of C2B must be equal to uh, the radius of the second circle. Let me take it as R and this as R. So, this C2B must be equal to R. Okay. And uh, this C2B, how to find this C2B? Okay, we can definitely find out because we know this center as A, 0 and we know the equation of this line. Uh, the equation of the line, we can write it as Mx. We can write this equation as Mm, mx minus y minus b under root of 1 plus m square. Now, uh, calculate the uh, perpendicular distance from C2 on this line. So, it will be m into a plus 0 minus b under root of 1 plus m square by under root of uh, m square a square plus b square that is m square plus 1 is equal to radius okay so what is the radius radius is equal to b right so this will be equal to b okay now uh, cross multiply and uh, take the square so we will have m a minus b under root 1 plus m square whole square is equal to uh, b b square into 1 plus m square right now open it it will be m square a square plus b square into 1 plus m square minus 2 a m b under root 1 plus m square is equal to b square into 1 plus m square so since uh, b is positive we can cancel this term b square a plus uh, m square so from here we got uh, this m square 
a square is equal to 2 a m b under root 1 plus m square. Okay, we need to find the positive value of m. Okay, again square it. This will be m to the power 4, a to the power 4. That is 4 a square m square b square 1 plus m square. Okay. So, it will be a square से यहाँ पे a square हो जाएगा, m square से m square हो जाएगा, so we have m square a square is equal to four 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 b square into one plus m square, right? Four b square into one plus m square that is nothing but uh, अगर ओपन कर देंगे फिर तो दिस विल बी एम स्क्वायर दैट ए स्क्वायर माइनस फोर फोर बी स्क्वायर राइट फोर बी स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर बी स्क्वायर फोर बी स्क्वायर प्लस फोर बी स्क्वायर एम स्क्वायर फ्रॉम देयर आई हैव टेकन द सेम स्क्वायर एस कॉमन सो फ्रॉम हियर वी गेट एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू 4b square upon uh, 4b square upon a square minus 4b square, right? So from here we get uh, this thing m as 2b upon under root of a square minus 4b square. So this is our required answer. This same is square 4b square upon yeah. So, 2b upon under root of a square minus 4b square. So, option A is correct. Now, let me move to the next question, question number uh, 9. The angle between a pair of tangents from a point P to the circle this is pi by 3. And the locus of P is given as x square plus y square is equal to r square then the value of r is okay so we know this is our circle uh, and a pair of tangents is drawn from a point p okay so let me take it as point p i'm drawing a pair of tangent okay from here I'm drawing a pair of tangent on this circle, right? And uh, we know we need to find the locus of this point P. So let me do one construction. What I will do? I will do. I will draw a perpendicular. Sorry. I will draw a perpendicular on these tangents from the center okay on both the tangents so this is what i have drawn and i will join this point p to this center of the circle okay now let's see what we have done uh, this is our point p basically so uh, this is our point p okay and we have to find the locus of this p point only. So let me uh, assume the coordinates of p as h comma k. This is our center of the circle, which is nothing but zero comma zero. This is origin. Okay, and uh, this is the pair of tangents. So let me write it as p a, and uh, this point of contact as b, and. Uh, what is more given? Okay, the uh, angle between the pair of tangents is given to be pi by 3. Like this angle, this whole angle is, this whole angle is uh, pi by 3, right? So if this whole angle is pi by 3, uh, this angle APC, APC will be half of this, half of this. That means it will be pi by 6. Why? Because the line joining PC, actually bisects the angle 
it bisects the angle a b b so uh, this angle will be pi by 6 okay now we need to find the locus of p no so what i will do i will do one thing this 10 pi by 6 what will be 10 pi by 6 okay this is 90 degree you know so 10 pi by 6 will be basically this will be ac upon P, right? Here, if you see, we know the value of AC. Why? Because the AC is nothing but the radius of the circle. What is the radius of the circle? Radius of circle is 4. The equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4 square. So, uh, radius of circle is 4. So, AC we know 4. Do we know PA, this length of tangent? If you see, yeah, we know the length of tangents also. The length of tangents will be basically under root S1, where S1 is, where S1 is, uh, what do you say, the power of point, this power of uh, P, power of point P on the circle. Okay. So S1 will be basically X square, like uh, uh, H square, right? plus k square minus 4 square. This is S1. Okay, so the power of point P on the circle is this and we uh, and the length of tangent, this PA, we uh, take the square root of the power of point as the length of the tangent. Okay, uh, and we know the value of this uh, pi by 10 pi by 6. What is 10 pi by 6? It is 1 by uh, root 3. Okay, and uh, what is AC? AC is 4. And what is PA? PA is under root uh, H square plus K square minus 4 square. So cross multiply it as uh, cross multiply and take the uh, squares on both hand sides. We will get H square plus uh, K square uh, minus 16 is equal to uh, 4 squared is. Uh, 16 into 3, 16 into 3 is 48. So this will become h square plus k square is equal to 64. Now replace this h and k by uh, x and y to find the locus of this point P. So it will be x square plus y square is equal to 64. And as, uh, as per question, the locus of P is given as x square plus y square is equal to r square, right? So what will be R? R will be nothing but equal to 8. Right? Both these uh, represent the same locus of point P. So R must be equal to 8. So option D is correct. This is our answer to this question. Option D. Now let's take the next question. Question number 10. It is saying that the normal at the point 3, 4 on a circle cuts the circle at the point minus 1 comma minus 2, then the equation of the circle is, okay. So this is our circle, okay. And uh, this is our normal. So suppose I'm taking this point as A, this point as B. So A is, the coordinates of A is 3 comma 4. We draw a normal at this point on the circle. It cuts the circle at point minus 1, comma, minus 2. Means the coordinates of B is minus 1, comma, minus 2. Then we have to find the equation of circle. Okay. So normal of a circle always passes through its center. Always passes through its center. Right. So what will be AB? AB will be the diameter of the given circle. AB will be the diameter of the given circle. And we know the end points. We know the end points of the diameter. So anyhow, we can write the equation of the circle. This is what we need to do here. So the coordinates of A is known to us. The coordinates of B is known to us. So the equation of circle will become uh, if the x minus x1, x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 is equal to 0, right? Now put the value of x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 in this equation, we get 
x minus 3 x minus of minus 1 that will be x plus 1 plus y minus y1 that is y minus 4 into y plus 2 equal to 0. This is the equation of our circle. So it will become x square plus x minus 3x means minus 2x uh, minus 3 plus y square plus 2y minus uh, 4y that is minus 2y uh, minus 8 equal to 0. So finally we get x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y minus 11 equal to 0. This is the required equation of circle. x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y minus 11. Zero. So option B is correct. <clears throat> now let's see this next question. The line ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is a normal to the circle. Okay. x square plus y square is equal to r square. This is the circle. The portion of the line ax plus by plus c intercepted by this circle is of length. So obviously this line is a normal, no? This ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is a normal to the circle. So the portion of line intercepted by this circle is of length what? This is the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square, right? This is the equation of normal. It will always pass through the center and it's uh, both the points of contact will be diameter. So uh, this will be of length 2r, like the uh, portion intercepted by this line on the circle will be equal to diameter. That will be equal to diameter. In last question also we have seen, no, this is the circle and uh, suppose this is our uh, normal. So what will be this length? This length will be AB will be nothing but the diameter. And uh, what is the length of the diameter? Here the radius is known to be R. Here the radius of this circle is equal to R. So diameter will be equal to 2R. This will be the uh, length interception, like length intercepted by this circle on this line. So uh, this 2R will be the answer. Now let's see this question. If the line AX plus BY plus C equal to zero touches the circle this and is normal to the circle. Okay. So one line is there, which is the tangent to one circle. And that tan uh, that line is normal to another circle. So we have to find the value of this A and B. Ordered pair A, B. Okay. So what we will do i am taking this circle one circle and i am drawing one tangent to this circle i am drawing one tangent to this circle which is normal to one another circle which is normal to one another circle so that circle definitely this uh, line will pass through the center of that circle so this is what i have taken right So uh, this line is given as the equation of this line is uh, AX, AX plus BY plus C equal to zero. Okay. And uh, this touches this circle. The equation of this circle is X square plus Y square uh, minus 2X minus 3 by 5 equal to zero. So the center of this circle is 1 comma 0. Okay. The center of this circle is 1 comma uh, 0. And uh, this is the second circle whose equation is x square uh, plus y square plus 2x minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. So what is the center of this circle? The center of this circle is minus 1 comma 2. Okay. And this will definitely lie on this line. So let me take it as C1 and let me take it as C2. So coordinate of C2 will be minus 1 comma 2. Okay. So definitely this line uh, passes through minus 1 comma 2. 
so it will satisfy this it will satisfy means this equation minus one comma two so put the uh, put the coordinates of c2 on this so we get uh, minus a right minus a plus 2b plus c equal to zero this one information we uh, got it minus a plus 2b plus c equal to zero uh, what we need to find we need to find the value of a comma b okay so now what i will do now this perpendicular distance like this suppose this is a circle one so this will be the equal to the radius one like uh, equal to c1 let me name, name it as p and uh, this c1 p must be equal to r1 okay so from here if you see this uh, what will be C1 P? C1 P must be equal to uh, radius R1. What will be R1? From here you calculate R1. That will be equal to under root of uh, G square 1 plus F square and minus of C minus of minus 3.5 means plus 3.5. This will become 5 plus 3, 8. Under root 8 by 5. Okay. So this uh, C1P equal to um, under root 8 by 5. And now calculate this C1P. It will be um, A, right? A plus 0 plus C, A plus C uh, mod under root A square plus B square under root A square plus B square is equal to R1, R1 is nothing but a root of 8 by 5. Okay. So from here we get. Uh, now we can do one thing. We can uh, replace the value of C here. Like, let me do it. A, we in place of C, I am writing as uh, A minus 2B. A minus 2B, right? So this mod is equal to uh, under root a square plus b square into under root 8 by 5 right now i will uh, square on both hand sides so i will get 4 this will be 2a minus 2b whole square so 2 into a minus b whole square so 2 chi square 4, then a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square into 8 by 5. So cross multiply it, we will get 5 fours 20, like 5 into 4, 5 into 4 into a square plus b square uh, minus 2ab is equal to 8a square plus 8b square, right? So it will become uh, 5 into 2, like this 4 will be cancelled out with this. So 2, 2. So we are having 5a square, right? 5a square plus 5b square minus 10ab is equal to uh, 2a square plus 2b square. So finally, we get 3a square minus 10ab plus uh, 3b square is equal to 0. Now, I split this uh, minus 10ab as 3 square minus 9ab minus ab plus 3b square is equal to 0. Take 3 a common from here. We get a minus 3b uh, minus b a minus 3b is equal to 0. So a minus 3b, either a minus 3b equal to 0 or 3a minus b equal to 0, right? So either a minus 3b equal to 0 or 3a minus b equal to 0. So from here we get a equal to 3b and from here we get a is equal to or 3a is equal to b, right? 
So is there answer available here? So no option is in the terms of A and B. So let's take this point, uh, uh, option A. It is given that uh, A is one. If I put this A as one, so what will be our B? B will be equal to one by three, but it is uh, three here. So let's check option. Uh, uh, okay, let me put here also. So if I put A equal to one here, we get B equal to three. Okay. So option A is matching basically. Option A is matching. Similarly, you can check for option B also. This is for option A. Suppose I'm checking option B. B it is saying A as three. If we put A as three, what will be uh, B? From here, if you see, a equal to three. If you put a equal to three, our b will be uh, a upon three means three upon three. That is nothing but one. So option b is also satisfying. Okay, and uh, if you put here a equal to three, so b will be equal to b will be equal to. 3 into 3, that is 9. So uh, this is not correct. This option is not. But uh, this we are getting here. Like A equal to 3B or 3A equal to B. So hence we are getting A is also as correct as answer and B also uh, as answer. But uh, we can't have this C and D options satisfied by this uh, thing. So both A and B are correct. But it's better, uh, like uh, the answer should be in terms of A and B only. Anyhow, this both options are satisfying our uh, what we got in the answer. A equal to 3B or 3A equal to. So this is done. We are done with question number 12. Let's take the question number 13. It is saying so for uh, so that for all values of theta, this uh, x sine theta minus y cos theta minus a touches the circle. Okay. Means uh, here uh, this uh, circle is given. Circle is given x square plus y square is equal to a square, and. Uh, this equation of tangent is given. This equation of tangent is given. What is the equation of circle? Circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square. So what is radius of this circle? Radius of this circle is equals to a. Okay. And uh, this equation of line is given as this equation of line is given as x uh, sine theta uh, minus y minus y cos theta minus a equal to 0. This is the equation of this tangent. Okay. Now we have to prove that for all values of theta, this will be equal to, this will, uh, this line will always touch the circle. So, uh, what we do, we will find the perpendicular distance, the distance from the center to this uh, given uh, line. So center is uh, 0, 0, for this circle. If we can show that this perpendicular distance, this CP, suppose I'm taking this point of contact as P, if we can say this CP is independent of theta and this CP is equals to A, we can say that this circle will always, uh, this, sorry, this equation, this line will always touch the circle. So let's uh, find the value of CP. Let's find the length of CP. So uh, CP will be equal to 0 plus 0 uh, minus A ka mod upon under root of A square plus B square that is sine square theta plus cos square theta. So this is nothing but A upon under root of 1 that is 1. So CP is coming out to be A. So it is not depending on the value of theta. And this is what we need to prove like uh, the length of CP must be equal to the radius the length of CP must be equal to the radius of the circle and that is equal to A. So yeah, we, we are getting the value of uh, the length of CP as A. So this will always touch the circle 
uh, independently uh, and it will not depend on the value of theta. Okay. So we have proved this. This will be valid for uh, all values of theta. Okay. Now we have to find the equation of tangent to the circle. This, this, which are parallel and perpendicular to the line. This. Okay. So like one uh, circle is there. Uh, one circle is given here. Okay. And one line and one equation of line is given. One equation of line is given. We have to find the equation of tangent, which is perpendicular to this line and which is parallel to this line. Okay. So uh, let me first identify the center of the circle. So this is x square plus y square uh, minus 2x minus 4y. Uh, minus 4 equal to 0. So center of this circle is 1 comma 2. And uh, what is the radius? Radius will be 1 square plus 2 square 4 minus of 4. That will be plus 4. That is radius is root 9 means 3. So we got the center of this circle as uh, 1 comma 2. The coordinates 1 comma 2 and its radius is 3. Okay, we will see when to utilize this information and the uh, line equation of line is given as 3x minus 3x minus 4y uh, minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So now we have to find the equation of tangent which is parallel to this line. So equation of tangent let me uh, write the equation of tangent as which is parallel. First, I am taking the case parallel. Okay. I am taking the case one. So, for parallel line to this, I can assume it as 3x minus 4y plus k is equals to 0. Right? And uh, the perpendicular distance from center to, the, to this line must be equal to the radius of the circle. So, uh, uh, let's calculate it as uh, Cp. Okay. I am taking this as, let me uh, draw the tangent also. So, okay, this is what I am ten, uh, drawing the tangent to the given circle. Okay, and I am dropping this perpendicular also from the center. And I am naming it as CP, means point of contact as P. So, this uh, length of CP must be equal to the radius of the circle. So what will be the length of CP? This will be 3 into 1, that is 3 minus 4, uh, minus 4 into 2, that is minus 8. Minus 8 and plus k is come mod upon under root of a square plus b square, that is 3 square plus 4 square. This must be equal to the radius of the circle, which is nothing but 3. Okay. So this is what I have assumed the uh, this equation of uh, tangent as 3x minus 4y uh, plus k equal to 0. Okay. Parallel to this line. Parallel to this line. So from here we get minus 5. Uh, minus 5 plus k come out is equal to this will become 5 into 3, 15. So from here we get... Uh, uh, minus 5 plus k equal to 15 or minus 5 plus k equal to minus 15. So k is coming to be 15 plus 5 that is 20 and from here k we get k as minus 15 plus 5 that is minus 10. Right? So our equation of tangent will become Two equation, two tangents will come. Similarly, uh, one more tangent will be here inside the uh, like parallel to this given line. So our uh, tangent will become two tangent. First, I am writing the t one as three x minus four y plus twenty equal to zero, and our second tangent, which is parallel to the given line, is three x minus four y minus ten equal to zero. Right. So this is the case of the parallel lines. Now, if you see, uh, 
perpendicular case like now if we see uh, we have to find the equation of tangent perpendicular to this given line so i am taking this second case which is perpendicular perpendicular to the line 3x minus 4y minus 1 equal to 0 so uh, equation of that tangent that tangent will basically uh, that tangent will be perpendicular to this so i can assume the equation of that tangent as uh, i will change the coefficient of x and y that is 4x uh, and uh, plus 3y plus k2 is equal to 0 i am taking k here so i am taking here k2 so this will be 4x plus 3y plus k2 uh, is equal to 0 now what uh, we have to find this value of k2 similarly uh, we have to calculate uh, uh, the perpendicular distance from uh, center on this uh, line and that uh, perpendicular distance must be equal to the radius of the circle so it will be uh, 4 so it will be 4 into x that is uh, 1 like 4 plus 3 into 2 that is 6 uh, plus k2 mod upon under root of uh, 4 square plus 3 square that is equal to the radius of circle so from here we get 10 plus k2 mod is equal to 15 okay 10 plus k2 equal to 3 into 5 that is 15 so from here we get 10 plus k2 is equal to 15 or we get uh, 10 plus k2 is equal to minus 15 so from here we get k2 is equal to 5 and from here we get k2 is minus 25 right so our equation of tangent will become uh, 4x plus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 and the next uh, equation will become 4x plus 3y minus 25 equal to 0 okay so this is this is the required answer and now let's take this question number 15 find the equation of the family of circle which touch the pair of straight lines okay which touch the pair of straight lines x square minus y square plus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. Mm. So, pair of straight lines is given. Okay, let me first solve this equation. Like pair of straight line is given as x square uh, minus y square plus 2y uh, minus 1 equal to 0 this is nothing but x square minus y square minus 2y plus 1 means y minus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. So we got the two line as x plus y minus 1 equal to 0. This is the first line and we got x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. This is the second line. Right. Now let me uh, plot these two lines. So, suppose this is our y-axis, uh, this is our x-axis, okay. What is the uh, point of intersection for these two points? If we put x equal to 0, y1, 0, y1. So, this 0, 1, 0, 1 is the point of intersection of these two lines. So, I'm going to draw these two lines. Yeah. So, these are, these two lines are given here, right? 
this will be with uh, positive slope this line will be with positive slope that means this line is x uh, minus y plus 1 equal to 0 and this line is basically uh, x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 and the, both these points meet at uh, 0 comma 1 like this point is basically 0 comma 1 this point is 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 let me write it this point is 0 comma now we have to find the equation of family of circles which touch the pair of straight lines which touch the pair of straight lines now uh, let's observe we can have these type of circles like this may be one circle now uh, See, this circle is touching both this pair of circles, uh, both this pair of lines. So, okay. And uh, circle can be here also. So, we have to find uh, this family of circles, which are touching both these straight lines. So, look, circles can be in this way. But one thing you must observe, like uh, circles, the center of the circles, this uh, suppose I am taking it as a, okay, let me, uh, let me uh, draw this line also. So the point of intersection of this is 0 comma 1, no? Okay. So yeah. I need to observe you, like uh, observe uh, this thing, like the center of these circles will always be on the y-axis of all the family of circles. It is not like that. The circle can be uh, of bigger size also. And there will be infinitely many circles in this way. So, but one thing will be common. The circle for these points will be uh, on the center of these circles, this one, suppose I'm taking this one and three. The center of these circles will be uh, x coordinate will be uh, 0, right? And y coordinate will be uh, root 2 times of this uh, square root of, sorry, uh, what you say? Uh, uh, I think let me explain you with in this method, uh, in this way. Like, uh, what is, okay, let me ask you, what is the angle of intersection? Like, what is the angle between these two lines? This will be 90 degree basically. This will be 90 degree. Okay. So uh, let me do one thing. What I am doing, I am joining these two points. Okay. I am joining these two points. So uh, this will be R, right? This will also be R. And uh, uh, This will be R, this will be R and this part, uh, this distance, if you see uh, from this point, 0, comma, uh, 1, if you see uh, this, all the centers of this uh, circles will lie on 0, comma, R by root 2, like 0, comma, R by root, R by root 2. No, R into root 2. R into root 2. Similarly, if you uh, observe centers of this, uh, it will lie on this R root 2, comma, the y coordinate of these uh, circles will be 1. Right? So, y coordinates will be uh, R root 2, comma, 1. Hope it is clear to all. Like, uh, there will be a group of circles in this way in which the x axis like the uh, x coordinate of the circles which are uh, on this uh, one and three side will be uh, zero and the y coordinate for these circles which let me mark it as two comma four the y uh, coordinate of the center of this will be fixed that is one and the x coordinate will be 
uh, function of the distance from this that will be r root 2 right so hope this is clear to all uh, now let's take this next question question number 16 it is saying that they find the value of lambda uh, so that the line may touch the circle so this uh, equation is there this equation of circle is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 8y minus 5 equal to 0. And uh, one equation of line is there. That is 3x minus 4y minus lambda is equal to 0. So uh, the question is asking to make this line as the tangent to the circle. Okay. So uh, what is the center for this? Center for this circle is 2 comma 4. And what is the radius? Radius is uh, 4 plus 16 uh, minus of minus 5 that is 15. So radius is coming out to be 5. So uh, distance from center to this line must be equal to the radius. So this will be 3 into 2 minus 4 into 4 minus lambda mod upon under root of a square plus b square that is 3 square plus 4 square this must be equal to the radius so this will be 6 minus 16 minus lambda mod is equal to 25 so from here we get uh, minus 10 minus lambda mod equal to 25 so minus 10 minus lambda equal to 25 or minus 10 minus lambda equal to minus 25 so from here we get lambda equal to 10 minus 25 that is minus 35. So this is one value of lambda what we got. And from here we get uh, 25 minus 10 that is 15 is equals to lambda. Right? 25 minus 10 is 15. So we got the two values of lambda here minus 35 and 15. So this is the value of lambda. I think uh, we are done with this chapter. Okay, one more problem is there. It is saying that the so that the area of a triangle formed by positive x axis, the normal and the tangent to the circle at point one comma root three is two root three. Okay, so the question is saying one. This is uh, the circle whose center is the origin itself. So this is the coordinate axis, y and x. Okay. One point is given here, 1 comma root 2. And we are drawing one. We are drawing one normal to this point And we are drawing one tangent to this point. So suppose this is our tangent. And uh, this is our normal. Normal will always pass through the center. So this is what is given. So suppose I am taking this point as P, whose coordinates are uh, 1 comma root 3. Okay. And this is our normal. This is our tangent at that point, And this is our horizon as the center of the circle. So what it is asking, area of the triangle formed by positive x-axis. Positive x-axis, normal and tangent. So we need to find the area of triangle. Area of triangle. Uh, P, O. Okay, let me name it as A. Right? We need to find the area of triangle P, O, A. P, O, A. Okay, so this... Uh, if you see this OP is equal, this will be uh, no doubt this will be 90 degree. So this will be a right angle triangle. So our area will be basically half into uh, OP into PA, right? So we need we know the value of this OP. OP is the radius of the circle. What is the radius of circle here? The circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4. So radius is 2 here. So we do know the value of OP that is 2. Now 
we need to find this value of PA. So uh, PA, if you see, PA is nothing but the PA is nothing but the length of uh, length of tangent, right? Length of tangent, which we can find it out by or uh, if we see this, if we consider this point O, uh, sorry, this point A as point outside the circle, right? As point outside the circle, we can uh, definitely find the value of PA as the length of tangent which is nothing but uh, let me uh, let me first write the equation of tangent at p that will be i think uh, helpful let me write the equation of tangent at point p so our circle is x square plus y square minus 4 equal to 0 and i am writing the equation of tangent at p that is x x1 uh, plus y y1 minus 4 equal to 0 now I will put uh, this uh, 1 in place of x1 and root 3 in place of y1. So it will be x plus root 3 uh, into y minus 4 equal to 0. So this is our equation of tangent basically. This is equation of tangent. Okay. Now uh, to find the coordinates of A. To find the coordinates of A, what I will do, I will uh, put uh, a, y equal to 0, right? For finding the coordinates of A, I will put y equal to 0. From here, we get x equal to 4. So, uh, coordinates of 4 will be basically, coordinates of 4 will be 4 comma 0, right? So, this will be the coordinates of uh, A. And now, we can find the length of PA. We can find the length of PA. Right. So uh, this approach uh, was not uh, helpful. I think this was the better uh, approach. Like we have find the equation of tangent, then we find the coordinates of A. Now the uh, value of PA will be means length of PA will be four minus one whole square that is nine uh, plus root three whole square that is three. That is nothing but a root twelve, or we can say four into three that is two root three. So PA is two root three. So this 2, 2 will be cancelled out. Our area is coming out to be 2 root 3, which is what we have to prove. So hence it is proved. So this is all I think for this uh, exercise. Yeah, this is the last question. So this video, uh, like uh, I think uh, this is of uh, bigger length but can't help this exercise was big and this was like uh, the questions uh, solving take uh, took time basically so anyhow we are done with this exercise number four we will uh, see you uh, again with the next exercise that is exercise number five of the circles till then uh, tata uh, goodbye take care